Welcome to Geometry, Unit 6, Section 4, Rectangles. What do you get when two polygons collide? Rectangles. All right, properties of rectangles. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So by definition, since it's a rect uh, parallelogram first, and then it is a rectangle, the rectangle has the following properties. All four angles are right angles. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary, and diagonals bisect each other. I know nothing. nothing. Well, we're hoping to have you, you learn are something. A sad, strange little man. Strange. Have my pity. Well, I'm not little. Anyway. Improving parallelograms or rectangles, basically you just need a parallelogram. And if the diagonals are congruent, then the parallelogram is a rectangle. So if segment WY is congruent to segment XZ in WXYZ, then WXYZ is a rectangle. Let's do some example problems. So in our first example, we're given a rectangular park that has two walking paths, as shown in the drawing. And if the length of PS is 180 meters and PR is 200 meters, find the length of QT. So it helps to always label our drawing. So here we have 180 over here. The length of this entire diagonal is 200 meters. And we're looking to find this distance right here. That's what we're trying to find. Well, we can use what we've learned. So we know that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. And since it's a rectangle, the diagonals are congruent. So the length of QS is going to be equal to the length of PR, which is 200. And since QT is half that distance, we know then that QT is 100 meters. Okay, we just reason this through. Okay, we think about what we know, and then we continue doing a little bit of math. Okay, quadrilateral JKLM is a rectangle. Now, using what we've already known, let's go ahead and do this problem. So, let's KJL, the measure of angle KJL. All right, is 2x plus 4. So this angle here, right here, is 2x plus 4. Angle JLK is 7x plus 5. So we'll put this one with double. We know this angle here, because this is a rectangle, is a right angle. So in this drawing, we have a right triangle, right? This triangle right here is a right triangle. 
So because of that, we're going to use what things we've known for a while. So one of the things we know is that all the angles of a triangle add up to 180. We also know that in a right triangle, the two acute angles are complementary, so they must add up to 90. So we're going to take this information. We know that the measure of angle KJL plus the measure of angle JLK is equal to 90. So now we're going to substitute in 2x plus 4 plus 7x plus 5 equals 90. 2x plus 7x gives me 9x. 4 plus 5 is 9. It was 90. So now I'm going to subtract 9 from each side. And I get 9x is equal to 81. And we divide each side by 9. We get our final answer that x is equal to 9. All right, this problem here is a little more difficult. Quadrilateral PQRS has vertices at P is at negative 5, 3. Q is at 1, negative 1. R is at negative 1, negative 4. And S is at negative 7. 0. Determine whether PQRS is a rectangle by using the distance formula. So the way we would do that is by measuring the distances between the vertices as diagonals. So we're going to use the distance formula for this. So we're going to first find the measurement of PR, right? So that's equal to the square root of x's minus x's plus y's minus y's, right? So p, right? So p is at negative 5, 3. And r is at negative 1, negative 4. So, negative 5 minus negative 1. And over here, we're going to say 3 minus negative 4. So, PR is equal to the square root of negative 5 minus negative 1 becomes negative 5 plus 1. And negative 5 plus 1 squared is negative 4 squared plus 3 minus negative 4 becomes 3 plus 4. That's 7 squared. So this is equal to the square root. Negative 4 squared is 16 plus 49. So the length of PR is equal to the square root of 65. OK. Now, let's look and see if SQ is equivalent. So SQ would be equal to, so S is at negative 7, 0, and Q is at 1, negative 1. So we're going to say SQ is equal to the square root of negative 7 minus 1 squared plus 0 minus negative 1, and we're going to square that. So 
So this becomes negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8 squared plus 0 minus negative 1 becomes positive 1 squared. So SQ is equal to negative 8 squared is 64. 1 squared is 1. So this is equal to the square root of 65. So since both diagonals of this quadrilateral are congruent, we can deduce that quadrilateral PQRS is a rectangle.